said something just now. I have said that first language acquisition, second language learning. So there is a little bit of difference between acquiring and learning. For example, your first language is Baba, all of us. So you have acquired it when you are a two-year-old, two-year-old, very little. You have acquired it from your mother. So this theory, the innate theory says you are, the first language is always acquired. And whenever your first language, um, let's say your second language, you have you learn it, right? You learn English, you go to school, you memorize the rules, grammar classes, spellings. Yes, you do classes in your first language as well, but you sort of already know it. So if somebody is saying something wrong in Bangla, you can say, oh, what are you talking about? This is not right. This is not right. And whenever you're making up new sentences, you know sort of, yeah, this is right. You don't always need a teacher to, teacher, is this sentence right in Bangla? I don't think you do that because it's already in your system. But for second language, what happens? Second language, you, is the sentence right? Whenever someone asks you a question, you think, Okay, what is this in Bangla? Then you translate in English in your mind. Then you say it. So there are a lot of procedures. It's not directly, you're not directly answering. Well, you think you're learning English. So English is learned. Now, over time, if someone is so good at it, so fluent at it, do you think the person might be able to acquire it as well? Like, do you think I have acquired it? might have a native-like speaking thing. I might have an accent, might not. I'm just giving my example because I'm the one present here in the classroom. So, I have learned English as a second language. Over time, maybe I have grasped a better understanding of acquiring. Maybe, but the thing is very debatable because um, some people say, no, you will never be able to acquire a second language. Acquiring is only first language. Some people say that, why not? Maybe you are acquiring the second language as well over time. It can happen. But most, most, in most cases, people think, okay, you might have a native-like accent, but you haven't acquired the language. Whatever you learn, memorize, those are not there. You, those go blank. If I ask you something in English, whatever you memorized so far, those answers will not be ready in your head. So whatever you acquired, if I ask you, what's your name? So you can say, my name is this. So that part is already in your system. But if I ask you uh, to do a presentation on Prussian's model right now, then you'll be, oh, I don't know, these sentences are not coming right. So you'll be able to say only those things that are already in your head, went in your system. But if you memorize something, that's never going to be ready when you need it. When you need to talk in English, those memorized things will not be there. You will forget it. Eventually, memories will, memories fade, right? We all know this thing. Memories fade. So if those things are not there, not you have not acquired it, you'll never be handy, never be, you'll never find it.